Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Virtual Fair 2018. My name is Sean Patrick Mulherin. I am the product manager for ePlan Electric P8 as well as for Cloud Solutions. And I have the pleasure today of introducing you to the topic ePlan Goes Cloud, how to gain higher efficiency through collaboration. Please ask your questions through the chat window and at the end of the presentation we will be able to answer certain questions that we will um, go through and I'll give you some answers. But let's start with the topic and let's move forward. First of all, before we talk about going into the cloud, one of the most important aspects in engineering is the ePlan project. And we want to define that as the global standard in engineering to do all of your automation systems design. So we can use that project and we can use the data from the project to add a lot of value to your engineering and making it more efficient. Now, how does that added value come into the ePlan project? First of all, we define the project as an environment to store all of, your, all of your engineering data. And then we support you through your entire engineering process, starting with basic engineering, where right up front in the beginning of your engineering process, you can start entering and adding data to the ePlan project. Then moving on to detail engineering, adding all of the detail for your panel, for example, for all your control system, completing the project, adding additional details into the project. Then using software engineering, interfacing and adding data that is going to be useful for programming your software for the automation system. And finally, leveraging all of the data that is in the data project for your production and as well as going into service maintenance and commissioning aspect of the ePlan project. How does that data get in there? It gets in there using the ePlan solutions. And all of our solutions contribute to enriching the ePlan project that eventually is going to land in the cloud. Start off with ePlan pre-planning to do all of your concept design and your basic engineering. Capture data early on in the engineering phases. Then go on to ePlan fluid to do all of your pneumatic, hydraulic, cooling and lubrication designs. Move on to ePlan P8. Use your P8 software to add all of the electrical aspects into the ePlan project. Pro panel, design your enclosure in 3D to make sure you're not missing out on anything and making sure your enclosure is correctly designed. ePlan Harness Pro D to design all of your wiring aspects within a particular product or environment. The data portal, enrich the ePlan project with high quality data to be able to leverage that information further down into your process. ePlan Cogineer, why not automate your ePlan project instead of manually creating the data? Use a configurator aspect to auto-generate all of the data inside the ePlan project. ePlan Integration Suite. You need to integrate the project within your environment. For example, connections to SAP, connections to PDM, PLM systems that make, that add the value to the ePlan project and to your engineering process. And finally, Syngineer, a cloud-based communication system to allow interdisciplinary communications between the various aspects. Again, making sure that the data in the ePlan project is the highest possible quality. If we look at today, we have all of our solutions that are on-premise solutions and that provide the data for the ePlan project. But what we're doing now is we are going to take this project and we are going to move it into the cloud and taking advantage of all the benefits that the cloud provides. First of all, easy access using a simple browser. We can use the Internet or the, Inter or the Microsoft Edge. We can use the Google Chrome. We can use the Safari browser. The most popular browsers can be used to simply access the project, and that is called Store Share View. So the environment you're going to work in, the Store Share View system, is going to provide you access to the ePlan project in the cloud. Store. I want to store my data in the cloud. So now I can simply, from the platform, upload my project into a cloud environment and make it available to other users. Share. I can invite anyone from anywhere and have them give them access to the cloud so they can view that project, they can access the information, and they can use the information from the ePlan project into the cloud. And finally, view and redlining aspects. I can view the data in the cloud so that way I can see what the project information is and I can use that data. But also, if I notice down and further down in the processes that I need to make some changes to that data, I can simply redline the information and that information can be fed back to the engineering environment so they can update the project and again republish a new version in the cloud to provide 
up-to-date data and make sure that the data at the end is of the highest possible quality. Once the data again is in the cloud, what are the benefits in the cloud? The benefits are it's easy to use. We're simply using a browser and everybody uses a browser day-to-day -day basis to go and surf on the internet. Well, we use it to actually make your environment more efficient. We access the project from any browser, from any operating system. So whether you're using Windows, you're using iOS, you're using Linux, if you have a browser, you can access the ePlan project in the cloud through StoreShare View. You can access it from anywhere. The benefit of the cloud is all you need is an internet access from any computer, anywhere, and you can log in to the environment ePlan Cloud. You can see your projects and you can access the data from anywhere you are. Up to date, you don't need to download the latest version anymore because now that the project is in the cloud and the application is, always, is, is, is in the cloud as well, all we need to do is simply update the application as new features and functions come into the application and all you need to do is open up your browser, log in and automatically that information and that functionality is available to you. So there is no more software update needed for you to take advantage of the latest functionality of ePlan. And finally, it's connected. Connected means that we don't want to simply talk between the on-premise solution and the cloud. We want to create an ecosystem where the clouds can talk with each other. So that means that, for example, if we go into Siemens MindSphere and an application is required to access ePlan project, we can do cloud-to-cloud -cloud connectivity. We have a third party or we have a REST API that allows third party applications to connect externally to the ePlan cloud and access data from the ePlan project when they need it, where they need it, for what application they need it. This creates added value, this creates benefits for every company using the project in the cloud and providing cloud-to-cloud -cloud connectivity to leverage transfer or connection of information between the clouds to provide added value to our users. Additional to that, which user group are we accessing? Now we have a whole new set of users that we can communicate with. Before we were talking to the engineers that were using our on-premise solutions. By publishing the project in the cloud, now we've got a whole new base of users that can access that project and consume the data. Today they were doing it with paper. Now they can simply open up a browser on any medium they want, whether it's a tablet, whether it's a PC, whether it's a an HMI that can actually open up a browser. They have access to the cloud and whether it's the production engineer, whether it's the service and maintenance engineer, whether it's the, uh, the person doing the commissioning of the project, everyone has access to that project now and can visualize the information and if needed, they can redline the project and transfer the information back and forth between engineering to optimize the quality of the project. So again, the ePlan project in the cloud provides now downstream or access to downstream processes. So the data is not just on-premise in the engineering solution, it's now in the cloud available for everyone that needs to consume that data to make their job more efficient and to make them more efficient at what they do. So if we have now any questions regarding the ePlan cloud and StoreShare View, Please uh, enter the questions in your chat and we'll take a look at the questions that are currently available. So first, when will StoreShare View be available? So at the Hanover Fair this year, we presented the first time we introduced EEPlan project and also moving the project to the cloud. So for those of you who were able to come to the Hanover Fair and see the StoreShare View live, you were able to see a preview. The StoreShare View requires the platform and the version 2.8 to upload the project. So when the version 2.8 will be released, we will also pre be providing access to StoreShare View. Can we also view 3D models in StoreShare View? Yes, if you design your automation system and you build your cabinets with ProPanel in 3D, when you upload your engineering data, the 3D models are also uploaded in the cloud and the browser can view those 3D models so you can easily rotate, you can visualize exactly the 3D model of your enclosure directly in StoreShare View in the cloud. Do I need special software to prepare the project for the cloud? Well, if you have the ePlan platform, as soon as the version 2.8 will be available, you will have a simple dialogue that will open up and within the environment that you're currently working in, you will simply be able to select your project, 
upload it into the cloud and then it'll be available for anybody with a browser to access. That upload process is very simple and you can easily visualize which projects you currently have uploaded, which projects are currently being edited and also if they're redlinings you can see those redlinings show up in that environment and you can easily access those red lines, navigate to the red lines, make the changes and then simply upload the projects back up into the cloud. So those are the current questions that were available in the chat. Now, if you would like to, to see a presentation of StoreShare View, we do have our live demos available as well in the other part of the virtual fair. So please go on to the areas. You can follow a live demo of StoreShare View if you want. And again, from my side, thank you very much for attending this presentation and enjoy the virtual fair.